Good morning everyone, Fatty from Pack-A-Punch Traders here, We're gonna do a quick video that I didn't do yesterday like I normally do, going over my trade of yesterday as well as the top plays for today. Um, GNS was my play yesterday, pretty much everyone's, it was the only thing really moving. And we have a breakout over 67 cents, we get that higher low, kind of confirmation around 75 cents when the market opens, light dip in the morning. And then from there, demand comes back, and it's a simple open price, a VWAP claim, And then, in this case, high a day as well. It was kind of right there with pre-market highs. So, they had a lot of um, key levels stacked close to each other. So, if it kept holding those ranges, it was looking for a move to test the low ones. Um, but this one here, I took it from $0.92 cents to $1.05 and a half and into this move here. But ended up holding up very nicely, and that triggered this whole entire squeeze. I could have re-entered or sized in differently, could have sold into pieces. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, this was a great trade I had, but at the same time, I did not recognize how it was failing to break down. I just didn't have patience. I saw this initial strong volume as a volume exhaustion, which... For about an hour, I was right, but that's the thing. It doesn't mean it has to be a hard long-term top. It could just be a short-term top that ends up getting broken through. And then once it broke that, it was just off to the races. Ended up reaching two-ish, and then failed to break down. Kept holding mid ones, key level psychologically, whole dollar, half dollar, as well as with the VWAP, and then that kept it pushing a four. Absolutely incredible. Um, wouldn't be trading this now. Very risky. Most of yesterday, I would have seen it as risky, honestly. A lot of these plays, they just get ran up so they can get diluted. And the company can raise money and whatnot. So, I would be staying away. Very risky now. But, nice play. We'll be playing the multi-day bounce when the backside comes in. But besides that, we'll focus on other things like... Let's see, let's see, LHDX was not one, it's on the scanner, but already had a bounce play, it could have another bounce play, but I think there are other better plays here, like WISA, this one here, solid push to 24 cents here, pre-market, right out of the watch list, I was looking for a failure to break down, maybe this wouldn't gap up as much as it did here, but failed to break down around 15 cents, and then result in a squeeze to test 20 cents, maybe 22. But now that we're holding up, and it's pretty much at 20, I will be simply looking for any failure to break down. So just open price reclaim, VWAP reclaim, high a day, pre-market highs, um, just any sign that this is failing to break down, and that there's some strong demand behind it, and it's going to push forward next resistance level really isn't until around 30 cents besides the mid-20s here so wisa i would keep on watch see how it fails to break down if it can hold up it's got strong volume today low market cap not too high of a float so this is doing insane volume uh, just looking for a possible squeeze if this can fail to break down same thing with gns Pretty much everything, but this one here, all the gappers, I typically look for that open price if you want to claim. Um, but yeah, so the next up, we got L HLBZ. And this one here, similar deal. It was moving after hours. Um, was looking for a possibility of it maybe not taking off and then holding up and creating an open price if you want to claim. And this one... I like a little bit more compared to um, WISA. One, because it's not up as much. I think it has a little bit more range to work with as it's still right around the support here around 19, 17. So if it keeps holding these areas, it can result in a reversal. So it's not up as much as of now. And I think it just has better range. I'll be able to get an entry where I'm more comfortable playing it. But either one, I'll keep an eye on 
for reversals if it fails to break down. Um, CFRX is also another play. And this one here, although it is not a super low flow, it is very cheap and going to rotate the volume or the float soon. It's doing $37 million in volume. So any of these plays with strong demand that fail to break down, they hold key levels, that could result in a squeeze. Um, oh, there was CFRX. This is another one here. Not too bad. Has some resistance around 11 and a half. Right around where it's at right now. Um, once again, all these plays, we got strong, decent little spikes. Now we're just going to look for the failure to break down. All the shorts pre-market that get trapped as well as, you know, it just puts the ticker on people's radar. So if anyone's not able to trade extended hours once the market opens, they'll be there. Um, so right now, CFRX, HLBZ, WISA, I would say our top watches heading into the market, as well as multi-day bounce plays like BBAI. If this were to get some volume, this is really stabilizing around the 180s, 2-ish region. So keep this on watch. Um, as well as AMV, another possible multi-day bounce play. But these yet to have some strong demand right now. Really want the volume to pick up. But they have great charts. Same thing with CYAD. This is another one here. Multi-day bounce. Strong push. And then now we're well off the highs. Eh, kinda. It's only about 30%. I would like it to push down a little more. But if that's not what happens... Got to respect it and just read the chart. Does it fail to break down? Come back for a high a day break. And then we had a little fake out here. It was trying to do a little break up, um, bounce play yesterday. But ended up getting stuffed. So let's see if today is a day where it breaks and confirms high a day. And then that results in a nice 20-30% squeeze. Um, let's see here. Um, same thing with NRSN. This was a play from yesterday. But here we are dipping up and down. I'm looking at this as a possible multi-day bounce style play. It could just finish the day red today and just fade and fade. But this thing is decently off the highs. Had a huge run, low flow. If this has a hard time pushing any lower, that could result in a little squeeze. And we can get that if it breaks high a day when momentum shifts. And just look to lock in quick gains. But, yeah, so NRSN, CYAD, AMV, and BBAI, those just keep on watch as multi-day bounces. And then what we'll be watching heavily in the morning for reversals, if they can fail to break down, CFRX, HLBZ, and WISA. Those are all looking pretty good right now. Um, let me see if there's anything else here to go over. We went over LHDX, that one, kind of a second bounce that it's having today. But, no. I think there are other better plays out there. Sure, this is holding up pretty well. Could offer a nice bounce. But I will likely ignore it. Um, we usually just play the first bounce. And this one already had it here. Pretty strong move. So... Maybe this is something if it proves itself, but if we're being honest, I think I'm done with it. I think there are just plenty to watch today. So, we'll just forget that. And then we got OTRK. I don't know if this will break out. This has a lot of volume resistance here in the 160s, 150s. Um, so, it's going to need a lot, a lot of demand to really break through convincingly. Um, so, I think this might just fade and become a nice multi-day bounce but still keep this on watch just because we don't expect it to have insane volume doesn't mean it can't so yeah um i think we'll just wrap it up here threw a lot out there went over the trade from yesterday um some decent plays to look at to finish off the week today so hlbz wisa those are going to be top plays um CFRX as well. So those three are going to be top, top plays. And then 
we got some multi-day bounces. We'll keep those in mind if those show the right action. The only reason I don't have them heavily on watch is the volume isn't really there yet. So we'll just keep peeking at them. And if they show that we're breaking high a day, decent demand, holding up, they can squeeze higher. If not, we'll just focus on what we got. So hope this was enough to go over in the morning for you people and to get a gauge of how we're approaching the morning, the gappers, what we're looking at, the psychology behind it. And all it is the same as everything else. We're just looking for shorts to fail a breakdown. We're looking for this play to keep holding up and show strength and result in a quick squeeze when these key prices start getting reclaimed, showing strength. Um, so, yeah, we'll catch you all later. Hope everyone has a great day. We'll be live in about an hour on Tradecaster and YouTube, so check us out there. Uh, hope everyone has a great one. We'll catch you all later.